welcome back. Today is day 24 and this is one that was actually just only a couple of weeks ago and there'd been a load of snow and the forecast for the weekend was just looking absolutely perfect up high, no wind, beautiful sunshine, the sort of weather that you associate with perfect alpine conditions but very rarely actually happens in Scotland and Malky was like so what do you want to do this weekend and I was like you know what like we've been a bit like slack with plans recently you know we've both been busy and we've got out and done stuff but we've not really done a proper adventure so I was like right okay we're going to do a thing. And Malky's like, oh my goodness, what's she doing? Um, anyway, I thought, well, let's go camp high. We're going to camp up on there on top of all that snow because the forecast is looking perfect. And he's like, you do know it's going to be like minus 15 or something. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. Anyway, so off we go. And the route that I picked took us all the way up a glen to this lochen, which is beneath like these incredible cliffs. And then you kind of basically climb up the back of them onto the hill and camp up here, come back down the next day. Sounds pretty simple, right? Um, anyway, it was a lot more difficult than we expected. The snow conditions were quite insane, but I mean, it was incredible. It was absolutely awesome. And I think this was the final kind of like, yeah, I'm good. Like, I'm so good. Uh, my fitness is pretty good you know it's not 100% back to what it was before but you know it's it's there to all intents and purposes you know this was a really tough walk and I was just absolutely loving it it was amazing um anyway this swim um I mean like we were swimming in like actual snow melt when we arrived at the lock and we were surprised that it wasn't frozen we um we were expecting it to be frozen and we weren't sure if we were actually going to be able to get into it but it was flowing um, for the most part, so that was awesome. And yeah, I mean, there's something amazing about getting to somewhere that takes a lot of effort to get to, whatever that type of effort is. And, you know, to start with, that was, I got out the house and got to Loch Ness, isn't this incredible? And, um, and now it's like, I walked like, for four hours to get to this lock in the snow kind of thing um, and I think it doesn't really matter like you know that that sense of adventure is so personal um, and actually sometimes even now I'm like yeah I got to Loch Ness and that was amazing like you know it's not that that's a disappointment Loch Ness is never going to be a disappointment uh, but yeah this one was pretty special and yeah I think it was just you know another another kind of sign to me that that goes you know you can let go of all those doubts you're good um, you know, and I had let go of a lot of them, but this one certainly was a kind of, yeah, everything's cool. Um, this is awesome. Confidence is back. Fitness is back. Um, you know, we're jumping into snowmelt water under big cliffs in the middle of nowhere and then climbing up and camping on the top where the water freezes overnight. I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing that, um, but it was incredible. Um, so yeah, I guess it's a pretty good end to the year for me in a year that really didn't start looking very promising so I guess maybe I don't know um if there's something to say about that that you know just because things aren't looking that great doesn't mean that they can't turn around maybe I don't know if that sounds a bit twee but um certainly my year has turned itself around in a fairly dramatic way so that's pretty cool